Welcome back to the channel everyone. Welcome back to our everyday living. I thought I'd do a video. I don't see many people doing a bit of scrapping out of say big TVs, flat screen TVs, that sort of thing and getting circuit boards out and getting all the extruded aluminium out. Also all the little transformers and all the copper and that sort of thing. I thought well there is an easy way of getting it all out. There is screws. Uh, got a double thick glove on so it's going to be I'm going to be held hanging onto these so I've got protection for the hand uh, don't want the same thing happen to this one but that's going to be having hanging on to the old air tool that's what we're going to be using today probably uh, the drill as well like tech gun to get the screws out we'll get, get a few screws out and that sort of thing so what we'll be doing is how I'll do it because this one here has gold pins on there. I've got to try and salvage some of these boards because they will go as very low grade uh, because of the gold pins on that, that, that one there. This one, not so much, same as this one. She's just a no board, so we're gonna totally degrade it and it'll just go in into the pressing steel. Um, same as that one there, it's got no gold on it either. So we will be doing um, a video of us processing all of our circuit boards, take them to the scrap yard, see what we get first time. So let's get to unscrew some of these, the ones we can unscrew, that, like this one here, these here, we'll get that done first. It makes the process so much quicker. Get that down to there, just shake the screw out, chuck it over into our drum. That one there, we're just gonna have to plow right through, so we'll make a pile. We'll make a pile. It's so, so much easier undoing the screws first, because otherwise you've got to plow right through the whole lot and degrade the whole board. That's those, pick the board up, seem they're there. Chuck it in there. I've gone to putting stuff in 44 gallon drums. It's made it a little bit easier for me for taking to the scrapyard. It can be a bit of a pain to get at some of these screws. That's better. I hope you can all see. I know I can. It's getting up close and personal with the old board. Another one here. Put that there, grab this one. We should go through with the one tool. Because we will be making a fair bit of noise. The air compressor will kick in. So a lot of noise. The ones I cannot get, I'll just plow through like I was saying. That's that. A couple of tools there. That's going to have to be ploughed through. You may have to do some and then come back and unscrew them. That may be the way. That centre one I've got to do. I've got to get that out first before I can do that one. This just makes the process a lot quicker to get your extruded aluminium off. Right, that's that. I've done that one, done that one. Got to get that one off. That's done. Right, get stuck into this. You can, on these tools, you can adjust the airflow. If you screw it in, less airflow. I'll give you an example. So you can tone them down a bit, fair bit, but you need a fair bit of pressure because it's an action action motion like that. That's about it there. That's good enough. Might be not, mightn't be too noisy. Bit more pressure, bit more of a screw. And this is why I'm wearing the glove. No, a bit more pressure. Right, 
Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh, they're hanging on underneath. Oh, we got screws underneath that one. Woohoo! Undo. They soon tell you. Screws over here. I'll get a magnet after. Where was I up to? This one. There we go. That's off. Easy as. Right, now we get to and undo the screws again. Because I couldn't get it this one. Definitely got to try and salvage this board. It's definitely got the gold pins in there. Try not to mark it too much. Degrade. You only got to put it through. Put it through the end and peel the rest off. Like so. Uh, when you get them stuck in the ends like here, I just grab the side cutters, wire cutters, whatever you like to call them, fold it out, peel it out, put it in the vise, of course. Gives me a bit of strength, a bit of pulling power. And just peel it out. You can probably, if you haven't got the pulling power, chuck the end in the vise, like this end here. It's poking out. If it's going to do it for me, probably won't do it that end. The vice is going a bit twisted. Into the best part of the vice and pull it out. That's another way of doing it. Gives you a bit more leverage. Get the leverage into it. So that one's already done. I'll get around and do all of this soon. All of those. Let's get to take them off first. Right, now I'm going to leave most of these little copper um, transformers on there. This one here I'll probably take off. I didn't take that screw out. Um, more because it's a low grade board anyway. So I might as well take what I can. Another one there I missed. All right, get that one off. Noise alert. I find doing it this way, you don't ruin the board as much. Just shears them off. Ah, uh, where are we up to? Where's that one? That one is there. He's off. And that's pretty much it for that one. Like I said, I might take that one there. Makes Takes it so much easier. Well, I should say it makes it so much easier. That one will go into the fridge compressors. Grab our screws, pour them out, and I'll put that board aside. That one we're saving. Oh, we'll do this one next. This one here, totally de depopulate. What we're going to hang on to. Those couple there. They've got copper inside them. Oh, 
вони. Можна вона пия. So much easier. Not up there with a screwdriver, trying to take it off. Ah. On there, on there. That one there, that one there. That should fall out the bum. I can go over there. Is that it? That looks like it to me. That is it for that one. That over there. Just too far gone. Got a screw in that one, I forgot. Do do do. Come on. Here we go. Up there. All these little ones there, I don't know what you call them. Um, they've got copper in them too, but I don't take them. I don't worry about them. That there, that there, that there. I'm not totally depopulating the board, just getting what I can see. Because they'll put it through a thr shredder anyway. That's what they do. I found out myself. Oh, it's so much quicker getting that in there. So much quicker. Right, that one's done. It has got... Oh, it's got the gold pins too. It has got the gold pins. But whether it's worthy of it... Whether it's worthy, I don't think so. Is there a little bit down in there? Probably. She'd be low, low, low grade, that thing. So we'll hang on to it. Can only go low as low. Take that off there. Put that over there. This little one here. Over there. He's done. Nothing on that. Over there. Look at all our screws. Right. Might be worthwhile pulling that apart. We'll have a look. Have a look at one.
think that's it. Looks like it. Alright, get to and do these screws. Screws we couldn't get. Take the glove off. I think I'm finished with that thing. Four now. it for those I gather yes right oh, we don't want that that screw is still in there it's got the thermal paste on there still that's what all that white stuff is thermal paste Right, let's get two. Take these tabs out. The aluminium tabs. I think they're aluminium. Got a magnet here. We'll find out. Oop, that cut it off. No, they're metal. So you definitely got to take it out anyway. I lost that one, didn't I? Come back to that one. Set him aside. There's two tabs broke on that it's probably about the only thing that you may get some of them breaking off and you've got to really try and get the steel out bit time consuming it's classed as micro scrapping that one broke off Uh, haven't got a container. Bit unprepared. Can do with a pair of long nose pliers, but I'd prefer the side cutters. Got more grip. If the handle hang on to it. Over there. This is the time consuming part. Oh, I cut that off. Here we go. I got it. Oh, I got it. Here we go. Oh damn, change hands. The old hands go numb. Trying to handle small stuff. Here we go. Done the same thing again. Well that one we'll have to go back to. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll go back to that one. Oh, get around to these later, I reckon. Get as much as I possibly can. Yep, back to that one later. Sometimes they don't go the way that you want them to come out. Hands letting go. That one's a good one. Now you got these little ones with the little pins. You can do them in a lot easier. They're not flat and like those other ones are. They pull out quite easy. 
Right, we will do that one in the vise. Get the glove on, bit sharp. This is where the screwdriver comes in handy. Put it underneath it. Oh, it's not, the vise is not tight enough. Biggest screwdriver. Hammer. Got it close by. But if anyone's got a better way of getting these part, this part out, by all means. Drop me the link. I found this is the most easiest way for me. Um, I thought I might have had a video coming out for finding out whether a machine was worthy of repair or stripping. Well, I found out I couldn't repair it. Right, that there. So it's definitely worthy of stripping. So I didn't do that one. A lot easier in the vice. The old hands. They're not like they used to be. You don't stay young forever. That does make it a lot easier. That one's already done. Put it in there. Those two. Well, that one's not. Oh, I broke it off. Okay. That broke off. Do the other end. Let's see if it's going to break off. And if that, yep. There we go. Right, I'll just give you an example how you can get them out of there on these long ones. Ah, uh, go up there. Go up there. Go there. And all I do, get a cold chisel. That one there, narrow one. Small hammer. Just tap them out. You don't want to downgrade your aluminium. It's out. Right. But it's so much quicker just to clamp it in there, pull it out. Go all the way, it doesn't matter. Whatever suits you. Your technique. But that's certainly the quicker way, putting it in a vise. A uh, couple there. Sometimes you can't put it in a vise. These little ones here, you can't because they put the round pieces on them. Oh, I just cut that off, didn't I? Okay, we'll attend to that very shortly. Uh, up in there, this one here, the old flat pack ones. He's off, he's off. 
straighten it out. Putting back in the vise. I am finding that easier. I don't think anyone's got an easy way. Everyone's got their own. Try and get him out with the vice. Give it a go. Can only fail if it does break off. Yep, there we go. Right, we better get to and get those ones out of there. All we should need there is a little cold chisel, little one I've had. Just to tap them out. that one that's that one not tight enough go up this way turn him on his side least resistance There's a couple more there somewhere. No, I know that's one. There was a couple more. Surely, surely there was a couple more there. Nope. 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 Well, we got them all there. There's only a couple. No, there's one. There's one there. to put the hammer around the right way. That one there is done. Right, so they are finished. Oh, I've got one here. This little one here I couldn't get, could I? We may be able to salvage. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. Right. Get our brush. Brush all this down. Clear and mess up. Be right back. Right. Had a little inspection of these little ones here. Little transformers and that sort of thing. Um, I will have a go at pulling them apart pretty much now. I was actually thinking of using the air chisel. So we'll give it a go, got the glove back on. We're gonna just try and get rid of the ferrite on the outside. So straight down, bit of noise. There we go. Down the side. Down there. Just to bust it out. And it should slide out now. Ferrite's magnetic, so it can go over there. Then we should be able to, without taking the paper off, grab one, grab the right one. Well, we'll take the paper off, we're that far. It's gonna, all the copper will probably spill all over the table, over the bench, just to unwind. It's gonna be a nice little nugget. Nice little 
chunk of copper. Thought I'd give it a go. Show you how it's all done, microscraping. June usually does this, but she doesn't use the air chisel. Gets up there with a hammer and makes a big mess. That's a nice little chunk of copper, that. Don't mind that. These ones here we're not going to do because they're just there's just too much in there in paper-wise. That one there might not be too bad, but um, it comes down to that you've got a lot of paper in there to sort out. So we might I might chuck that in June's bucket here. This is what we've been doing with a lot of the um, ones that you know, need hammering. So we chuck them in there. That's a June job. Like these little ones here, they're easy peeled off. You just grab them with a pair of long nose pliers and pull them off. So it's a simple job. When she's feeling well enough, able enough. That off there. Two off. I suppose the paper wouldn't matter too much and that's all there is in the copper in that. Those two little strands, that over in the trash, it's only plastic, we'll do this one here. Trash there, pull that out. right in the, in that bin there right yeah which one we got to pull cut the paper that way we know where we're up to those two there Oh, broke that off. Damn. A bit more cutting involved. Cut you. Cut you. Cut you. Cut you. Get you out. Come on, man. This is why I don't try to do these myself. They're just too fiddly. I usually put these in the fridge compressors. That's why I don't do them often. Someone's having a bike race. Sounds like it. <coughs> oh, I think it's that one there. Go get that off there first. You can poke a screwdriver up inside it, make it easier. <laughs> anyway, um that's going to do it for this video, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed tagging along. So that's what you can get out of um, TV circuit boards. You do get the gold strip like uh, this one here. Uh, where is it? You've got the gold strip like this. It's got the gold strips on there. Uh, that's right down the bottom sometimes and sometimes up the side. Uh, that's only a small one. You do get bigger ones. Uh, here we go. That shouldn't be in that book one. And you get some of these, like these ones are a lot bigger. Uh, they've got the gold strip there, another one there. Um, and you've got all the gold plates in these, like all the, all the circles and that sort of thing. So that goes as mid-grade. As far as I know, I, I'm, only, I'm not sure whether it goes as mid-grade or, or, or the high-grade or that sort of thing. I've only sorted it the way I know that I can. Like uh, even this one here, you can see all the gold under there. There's two pieces on there. All these here have got the gold strips in them, um, all gold plated. So anyway, um, 
If you've enjoyed tagging along with me, I've got to sort that one out. That'll go in, get rid of the screws over there. That'll go in that one there, same as this other one. That one in there. Um, if you've been, like I was trying to say, if you've enjoyed tagging along with me on this one, everyone, and if you like the scrapping part of it, let us know in the comments. Uh, trying to do some more videos of doing washing machines, fixing washing machines. Got a whole heap down here that are non repairable. Got a dishwasher there as well. So, yeah, I was going to do a video on this one out here, but I uh, can't fix it. Uh, the drum doesn't come apart, it's got broken bearings. As you can probably notice in the back here. See, if the drum had been able to split apart, I would have fixed it. But, um, yeah, she's leaking down the back down there. You can see where the water's leaking. So if you do get that problem, um, yeah, you can fix them. But I'll try and do a video of get find a machine that I can do. Uh, that one there that I was just looking at, um, this one here, the LG, it's got a bit of a problem. Got to fix it up, um, find out what the problem is. But anyway, like I'm trying to say, if you enjoyed tagging along with me, don't forget to give like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put a new video out. So until next time, everyone, happy dumpstriving, happy scrapping, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!